Right, here we are, Tesco's Apiary again, uh, volume two. All right, so following on the previous film of combining two colonies in one top bar hive, what we're doing now is we're introducing a new colony into an empty top bar hive. The problem is that we had a donation of a box of bees and they are housed in Don't take it out. Langstroth mm. frames. The Langstroth frames are quite long shallow frames and this is, draw this is um, uh, drawn from artificial comb so from a um, uh, from a foundation comb uh, which we don't really want so what we decided to do is try a new technique of integrating them into a top bar hive which looks that's what a top bar hive frame of uh, comb looks like why it's are the sides like that why because the box is actually inclined on two sides and it simulates a log in the wild more than a box like this one here which is a wire hive which has got a square box inside okay this is a more natural and this is a free form so the comb is built by the bees completely okay whereas this one you have a plastic founder or you have a, a, a a formed foundation and then they build their cells on that foundation so what we're going to do now is we're going to cover this up and we're going to hope that they're going to move out of the Langstroth into those and then we can remove the Langstroth after a while it's an experiment with so those Langstroth are at an opposite angle to the top they are hive. because they're so longer than the width of the uh, top bar hive and of course they're rectangular they won't fit so what we've done is we've turned them axially to the length of the top bar hive and uh, the uh, top bar hive frames on this side will um, you know they'll just eventually migrate to that side so we'll see how this works out mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is of course the top bar the top bars close the gaps at the top whereas the Langstroth works differently the bees can actually climb over the top and then in a Langstroth hive you have something like this a crown board which actually prevents them from getting into the lid of the hive okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover them and i'm going to have to give them a bit of water or smoke to chase them out of the way because they don't want to flatten any bees if you place it over gently mark they will just okay, go well, under let me just give them a bit of a spray and they'll go down some of them will go down let's just water on spraying on them there you go you can see that they've got a lot less okay so that gives him a bit of airflow. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover the rest with these uh, table mats. And that will keep us a bit of a cover over the top to prevent them. The last thing we want is for them to start building comb in the lid of the, of the hive. That's not going to work for me. So there you go. I've covered them up now. I want to use my hive tool, so that's why you must keep your hive tool in your hand. Close the box. Now it's not airtight, so the bees that are still flying around yeah. can make their way under the lid and into the hive. And we've closed it up with fondant, haven't we? The yeah, hole, the entrance. I want to show you. Uh, I can't really show you here. Michelle you want to take come the around. Phone? I'll take the phone. And as you can see, these are the uh, our entrances. And this used to be a feeding hole, but we've decided to make this the entrance now. It's higher up on the, it's a bit of an experiment. And you'll see that we've plugged it with a, f a sugar fondant that we make. Uh, and they'll eat their way through it. Um, but that gives them some time. Gives them some time to get used to the hive and orient themselves to the inside of the hive, the smell of the hive and so on. Which means that they won't abscond and they'll stay here and this will, they'll make this their home. Brilliant, and that's so. the empty box that they came in. Well, it's not so empty, there's a few of them in there. Yeah. So Mark's gonna dump those, and then we'll remove the box because it smells of the queen, and they'll keep returning to it. So we'll get rid of that now. You just literally 
shake it so that it empties. There you go. There you go. Pretty much empty. There you go. Last Update to out. follow once they are released and start flying and coming back to the hive. Bye.